Everyone's here for the right course, Integrated Management of Avaya and Nortel Systems. We're going to go over uh, key features in this product, uh, kind of how it interfaces between Nortel and Avaya, common features across the platforms, and some interesting things uh, that bridge Nortel users and Avaya users. I'm Andy Murphy. If you guys have any questions at all, raise your hands. If you can't hear me, stop me. This is uh, informative. We don't need to hold questions to the end. We can jump in whenever you guys want. Everyone okay then for here to go? You good? All right, system management. Common features that we have across all the platforms. Um, it supports a variety of PBXs, so we have a mix of Nortel users in here, Avaya users in here. Uh, the DynaSwitch Max pr product works with Nortel and Avaya. The Call Accounting works with Nortel and Avaya, as well as some other uh, manufacturers. Can be installed on a virtual machine, which a lot of people have questions about. Can it be installed? Does it have to be installed on a server? Can it be installed on a virtual machine? Yes, it can. There's about 80 standard reports uh, within this application. A lot of them are customizable, so you get 80 stagnant reports, but with the filtering, you can pretty much uh, customize them to whatever you guys need. It's a web-based platform. There's a client version as well, so if you want to load it on the server, you can. But it's a web application, so you can actually access it from anywhere on your LAN or WAN. <clears throat> uh, minimum hardware cost. The server is not a robust, you don't need a, a ridiculously robust server. You only need one server for this too. So if you have multiple locations, multiple modules, one server, minimum uh, requirements will actually do it all for you. So that keeps costs down for end users. All right, some of the modules, uh, I'm going to go over the names of them. Stratatel Premium is actually the product. That's the name of the application. Uh, in it is different modules. It's a customizable application, so you can pick and choose what you wish. DynaSwitch, uh, it's also called our Max uh, product. Switch administration and moves as and changes. Right now, it works for Nortel and Avaya systems. So it's bridging the gap between the two companies. Obviously, Nortel is pushing it to the Avaya platform, or Avaya is pushing it to the Avaya platform, migrating from those CS1000s. It will work on both. The call accounting piece, that has been around for 20-something years. That works on all the major PBX manufacturers out there. With the call accounting piece, you get a built-in directory. It's an internal directory you guys can use, uh, phone numbers, extensions, email addresses. It's, it's more for an internal notification on it. And with call accounting, you get our fraud squad. That is tracking fraudulent activity, toll fraud, long distance, uh, 911 calls if you want to track it in there, 900 calls. Contact center and ACD. This is a reporting package only, strictly reporting. It doesn't route your calls through a queue. It doesn't, uh, do, it just reports on hold times, where the calls are going, agents response times, things like that. But it's not a symposium type of application, it's reporting only. Traffic analysis, that module is actually uh, true traffic analysis, uh, true trunking information. You get some basic information with the call accounting piece, but the traffic analysis piece is going to give you uh, all that tr uh, trunk information you're looking for. Dynalert or E911, this is an internal notification, uh, 911 notification module. Basically, you dial 911. You want to be notified as an IT staff or telecom staff. It's going to internally notify whoever you want in your organization. You can fill in information as well, and we'll get to that in a second here. So DynaSwitch, this is the first application. Can everyone see that all right? I know it's hard to see, but all the modules that I talked about are across the top. So this is a modular solution. So if you only want to do moves, ads, and changes, you can just simply uh, license for the Max product. Okay, it's got your list of uh, things you can do here on the left. Everything you can do on the left, you can do on the right through a GUI interface. So all your uh, moves, ads, and changes, uh, changing your keys, all that is done here. Again, you can do it by simply clicking on the application here in the GUI interface, or you can go down the left side, which has got all the, uh, the things you can do too. Now you guys can't see it, but it says in here you can perform Macs, enable disable phones, 
Uh, you can post transactions to happen later. So if you're doing a bunch of moves, ads, and changes, you can do that later as opposed to immediately. All right, what you're looking at now is a, an actual Avaya set. This is your GUI interface, so you can actually go in here for simplified moves, ads, and changes. It doesn't take um, a full telecom specialist or an IT specialist to do it. It's actually been simplified down so other people in the organization can do it if they need to. Posting transactions immediately or scheduling, a lot of people ask about, is it real time? Can you do uh, bulk transactions? Can you post things for later? The answer is yes. It's good because it works around your schedule. You can do that whenever you wish. Key assignment and feature changes, it's all done right here on this screen, right here. So you can go in and change your keys, uh, do everything right there through the GUI interface. Again, the, all the modules are across the top. So if you get call accounting, you get licensed for call accounting. With that, you would get the directory module there and the fraud squad there. Very, very user-friendly interface. Easy to use, easy to navigate through. As you'll see, each module does a different thing, but the look and feel of it's the same. So the training time, the ramp up time is gonna be uh, lower because you're gonna be having the same look and feel across the platforms. Real-time data collection, customized filter options. Again, you're getting 80 to 100 canned reports, but with the filter, in the customization in here, you can actually track it by costs, certain dial digits, after hours calls. You can exclude and include as much information as you want. Uh, exporting a CDR in the directory, a lot of people ask, can it be exported into an uh, accounting system? Can it be exported into something else? It's all exported into an Excel or CSV file, and we can work with, with you and do that at the end of a night, end of a day. Um, DynaSwitch and Max integration. So if you went for a unified solution on moves, ads, and changes and call accounting with our DynaSwitch module and call accounting, as you make moves, ads, and changes, as you post transactions, all of that will be updated in your call accounting directory so you won't have to duplicate uh, entries, duplicate efforts there. All right, again, fully customizable reports. You can get a complete total uh, expense uh, management application here because you can actually track handsets, IP sets, Blackberries, iPads. So you can actually assign costs to that in here and report on more than just the CDR in the long distance. All right, it monitors all local incoming, outgoing and local to local calls. You also don't have to uh, track all those. A lot of people don't want to track the local calls or the internal calls because it uh, increases the amount of CDR. That's customizable as well. All right, markups, surcharges, taxes, all that's in here. A lot more of these days, people aren't doing it for costing as much as call tracking. If you want to do the costing, all the, uh, the tools to do it are in there as well. The output, is it always to Excel? Um, So, what's your question? Is it only export to Excel? That was my question. And the answer is no. Okay. There's a variety of output formats. It depends on what you want. Um, Excel is the one that we use mainly. That's the one that people ask us for mostly. All right. The next module over is, uh, did I skip one? Contact center and ACD reporting. Again, this is reporting package only. Um, it doesn't route the calls through the queue, um, but you're going to pinpoint how well calls were handled, hold times, wait times, how was it routed, did they answer it uh, quickly. There's a, a number of reports for that as well. You group your agents into departments, and you can actually track if there's a, a um, contact center for marketing, contact center for sales support. You can group them together and track them that way as well. All right. Again, the reporting tool in here is pretty robust, so you can filter it down to select hourly, daily, monthly, yearly. Um, schedule reports to be printed. You can have them sent uh, to your staff, um, your executives in the morning. They could be there waiting for them ready. 
many different outputs to, to see the reports. Uh, dynamically change the graph reports by clicking on the headings. So this, if you want to you want to sort them or filter them in here, you can actually do that on the report. The traffic manager, again, this is there is some traffic analysis and traffic information in the call accounting piece of it, but this is true traffic analysis. Okay, it's going to monitor uh, the console trunks network processor, um, the interactive schematic, which is the GUI interface, allows you to get to where you need to be quickly in here. Uh, make changes to parameters and reports, so it's kind of a what-if scenario. You can see what's going to happen with your trunking information and plan for future events. Are you going to get into a demo too? We're not going to get into the demo here. This is all screenshots, but we can get you, you a... Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we can drill down into the reports and show you a lot more. Okay, okay so there's another uh, traffic report. Trunk usage reports are going to show you a whole bunch of information. Uh, again, these are cleaner looking reports because you can sort them. They're graphical reports. There's a lot of trunking information uh, built into this module. A DynAlert. Okay, this is the 911 application. It's uh, internal notification only. So Steve Smith in Cubicle 4 on the third floor dials 911. They're going to be notified the front desk so that the emergency responders, can, when they come in, they know where that person is. They also, you can also put some more detailed information in there if that person had a heart condition, if they had a certain issue. So that information will be relayed to the person at the front desk or whoever needed to be so responders can get in there uh, quickly and efficiently. Uh, most of you know standard 911 reporting in call accounting. It doesn't happen until the call is terminated. So you can see that that call happened. You can track that, but it's useless in an emergency information. That's where this application comes in. Can be configured to notify you in many ways. If you want to be paged, e emailed, messaged to your uh, smartphone or BlackBerry, um, there's there's ways to even you know wire it to a light at the front desk so people would know an emergency light. All right, so there's different rules and laws in different states too. But again, it's all to protect your staff. You as much information as you have on this application. Again, it helps with the emergency response time. That's the basic server requirements. So I know a lot of you that have uh, Telephony Manager or other uh, switch administration tools, the server requirements are a little more robust uh, than this. It's basically, uh, the way the system is made is the server requirements basically as much space and RAM and speed as you have, that's going to be uh, really uh, up to you. We don't need a supercomputer to do this. And again, it's all on one server, one platform. All right. 